Hi there. Today's mini message, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. The accuser, critical people, and the judgmental scales of this world continually call us to the courtroom there to be prosecuted and sentenced. For example, with sin in your life, God will not bless you. Have you heard that? But according to the new covenant in Christ's blood, we know that the trial is over, the sentence carried out, and we have gone free rich and famous. Colossians chapter 2 verses 13 through uh, 17. When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, in other words, you were a mess, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the written code with its regulations that was against us and that stood opposed to us. He took it away, nailing it to the cross. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Therefore, do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink, how much uh, and what kind, or with regard to a religious festival, a new moon celebration, or a Sabbath day. Are you going to church? These are a shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. Galatians chapter 5, verses 1 and 4. It is for freedom that Christ has set you free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. You who are trying to be justified by the law have been alienated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. In other words, do not fall away from the amazing grace earned by Jesus and gifted to you by believing the lie that you have to earn anything from God by your performance. Instead, keep to the gift and stay free, rich and famous as he made you. See you later.